Hi there. Uh, my name is Celia Godin. I'm the Chief Judge for the uh, 30th Lateral Inside Awards. Um, I've done this quick uh, presentation on how to enter, just to take you through the steps as to once you actually uh, decide to submit an entry, uh, what it looks like. So what we will cover is we will cover a little bit just as um, with respect to the inside awards. Um, we'll speak about how to enter, so the physical steps around award force and the platform that we use. Uh, we'll talk about the fees and then uh, some contact information. So about the lateral inside awards, uh, it's quite exciting that this is our 30th year and we're quite excited to uh, again, showcase and continue to showcase um, and promote WA ICT industry and the profession by recognising and promoting excellence in a sustainable manner. Uh, we look forward to doing it for many more years to come. So um, we are running two streams of awards this year. So in the second part of the year, we will run the honorary awards. But in this uh, round, we are running the uh, recognition with respect to products, services, uh, project categories, including startups um, and students. So there are two phases in this process. Uh, the first phase is the online submission. And so this uh, uh, presentation deals with that online submission. Um, there is a second uh, or another video where we talk about uh, the, uh, uh, the briefing in terms of what it is, the categories. Um, and you are provided, you'll be provided with information and links will be available on the website. Um, same with the, uh, the pathways in terms of uh, for people that become winners and merit award winners in the end to actually go through to the I awards. Just as a final note on this slide, just know that um, if you are a WA based company or your uh, project, product or service delivery um, materially happens in WA, um, you need to enter through the Inside Awards. You cannot uh, directly enter through the I Awards. So if you have any questions with respect to this, please uh, feel free to reach out. There is a contact email address for me um, at the back of this presentation as well. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. So just again, just to run through in terms of the categories that we are looking at, uh, we are have a the uh, the following categories. So we've got the Peter Fillery Undergraduate Student Project. We've got Research and Innovation as a category, Startup, uh, Social Impact, Transformative Solutions and Innovating Government. Uh, you can enter in more than one uh, category uh, with a maximum of three uh, categories. So again, just a reminder, the, the information is on our website with respect to the dates. The key date to remember is the 9th of April, as this, that is the date by when submissions will be closing. So as I said, this is it. Um, and don't forget the clock stops at 11.59. Um, so um, it's an important date. I would suggest that you make a start, uh, you get it done, um, you put it aside and then have a review uh, before finally submitting. So uh, how to enter. So um, the uh, entries are managed by uh, an award force platform um, and the, the link is where you can find it. You can also find the link on our website and I have provided the link in there. Um, if you are on our my mailing list, you will be provided with regular updates. So if you are not yet on our mailing list, I would suggest that you actually um, do sign up uh, for it as that will keep you up to date in terms of of timelines where you can find more information and resources. So once you're actually on the platform, uh, it will take you to a page where um, if you have previously uh, submitted an entry or registered um, it, and it will recognize your email, um, you'll be able to log in. Um, alternatively, you'll have to register and set up a password. Um, there is a process that when you set up as a new user, uh, where it sends an email and you just have to verify and click on the link. Just be mindful um, of that. Then once you've actually done that first step registration, it will take you to this home page um, and you will see there there's, for instance, the, uh, the closing date. Um, there is uh, the number of entries. So this is the start page and uh, you will go to the space that says start entry. 
um, and um, that will be then taking you into the screens which you and the tabs that you will complete. Just on this page, note that if you decide to enter, um, or, or sometimes people decide that they want to um, have various entries, they may not complete all of the entries, you can duplicate um, and, and download um, your entries as well. So if you want to sit back and read it, it's a bit easier than sometimes doing it on the screen. You could do it on this front page. Um, just going back, when you sign in, you will get back to this page. And if you have more entries, um, it will show up on this page. So when you get to the start page, it will actually, you'll be able to pick the category. So once you do the drop down for the category, it will actually provide a bit of a description on the right hand side. What I did copy for you on the right hand side is actually just a drop down of the categories that are available. Um, and then it will ask you for um, your entry name. So if I can just recommend one thing here. Um, think about what you want to call your entry. Um, a lot of people just go, oh, well, if my, my company name is XYZ, I make my title XYZ. But people, it doesn't actually tell people what your product or your service or your project is about. So think about the problem that you're trying to solve and the solution. So, and try and bring that into that title. Um, as It's almost like your tagline. So um, it will make it easier. It will make it easier if to stand out and to be clear what it is about. So once you've done that, you need to save that and that will actually then save um, your entry for when you return to it later. Um, as you will also see, the actual process is set up with a number of tabs. Uh, you need to complete the first save, but thereafter you can move between the tabs. Um, so, and I'll run through the tabs. So the first one is in terms of the details. We ask you for company details, for organizational details, for contact details. Um, we will also show you in, in the whole form which things are uh, mandatory and has to be completed um, and what is optional uh, information. Um, when you are a startup, please make sure that you enter your ABN properly. Um, sometimes people uh, enter a trust or so, and then it's not the correct ABN. Um, so on this, once you've completed this, then the criteria. So this, this criteria uh, tab is where the biggest part of your work will come in. So we will ask you for a short overview. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's that short nugget version of what is, is it that the problem that you faced and what's the solution. Um, and why it is innovative. So it's really capturing it almost like the summary, a little bit of an overview of your organization so we can understand where you are placed. Um, I would also suggest in your overview for of your organization to talk about where you sit in the market space. How do you compare to what the market is currently doing? Then um, the criteria has been set up for each specific category because not all of the categories has the same criteria. Um, and you will see that there is actually a maximum number of words for uh, the criteria. So just be mindful that if you, um, uh, what, what I would recommend um, in terms of the, is use your words properly, but try and avoid just general sales information or brochure information. Really talk and think about what is the problem? What is the solution? Why is it innovative? Um, and back it up by, concrete, real examples um, in terms of what's the problem, what's the solution, and why it's innovative, what's the market space do. Um, then you'll see there's a tab for attach the supporting documentation. So in this case, the supporting documentation is, um, for instance, if you run research, case studies, photos, testimonials, um, product descriptions, um, this is the place to uh, attach it. Try and avoid the general sales pitch brochures because this is really related to your category and to the entry itself. Um, the, if, you, if you enter, so you can enter as a team. So if there are a team of you that are entering, um, there's a space in this particular tab where as a team, you can then add a record and add more contact details. It's quite important um, in a lot of the student categories, for instance, there are quite a few team members. Um, so it makes sure that we also recognize everybody that's on a team. 
uh, there is a difference between a team and a joint submission. So a team is a, is a single submission, but with different team members. And the joint submission is where, for instance, in the government's uh, uh, innovating government category, where you have to have collaboration with a government agency, if you're a non-government uh, organization, there is where you will have a joint submission. So again, you can add a record, you can have a joint submission that is three or four people. So it doesn't just have to be one or two. Um, referees, referees are so important. Um, it's important to make sure that they are independent, they can verify what you put, uh, put down. Um, and the bit that always creates some level of distress for the lead judges um, and as part of the judging process is when we do the referee checks, because we will do referee checks and the referee doesn't respond. So it's really important to make sure that if you include a referee, that they know you've been including them um, and that they will be able to take our, um, our calls when we do call them or email them. So um, if we can't find your referees, that will jeopardize your entry. Um, and what we want to do is we want to showcase. So we don't want to have a jeopardize for someone who's not taking, um, you know, um, the calls or the contact. Uh, then this this particular tab is this is where we can we can talk about the promotion as well, because what we would like to do throughout the process is to be able to say that look, once people are finalists. Um, there's a bit of social media marketing information about them. So in here, we ask you for a bit more information. It's not uh, being considered by the judges. This is really around the promotional piece. So think about things like your sales brochures or think about if you have a small pitch video about your team. Those are really the kind of things that, that uh, work well here. Once you're done, so uh, you could also do part of your, you know, work on your on your submission, save it and come back to it, um, you, and and then come back later. So once you you could also uh, just buy uh, before I forget, you can also pay before you submit. So um, it's also a good thing to to make sure that you test that. Um, but then once you're finally actually done, there is a, a place where it says submit entry. So um, in terms of the actual process, as I said earlier on, um, you can copy on the starting page. So if you decide to enter in more than one category, you can copy your original one and then modify it. When you do copy, just make sure that it actually is applicable to the category that you're entering in. Uh, what we sometimes find is people enter in more than one category, but then they don't deal with the um, Say, for instance, they'll do, we'll enter in transformative solutions and in innovating government, but they don't actually talk about how it innovates out of government and makes it more inclusive. Um, they only submit the same in, um, entry as they have done. It, it doesn't work that way. It has to be specific to the category that you enter into. Um, so payment will be by credit card only, um, and it will be done online at the time of completing the submission. If you don't, if you don't pay, and you, um, it will not be um, a valid submission. Um, there, please note there is a merchant fee that um, that uh, applies. It's not something that's within our control. Um, we are a not-for-profit organisation, um, and so it's just a pass-through um, of that. So the fees are added to the total and are outlined in the uh, payment uh, summary. Uh, fees. So there is quite a bit of work that goes into uh, the process. It's um, it, and it's done by a set of volunteers, um, and the cost is basically there to uh, manage the cost of of you know where we've got expenses, etc. Um, we have kept the fees, notwithstanding, we've kept the fees the same as it had been last year. Um, so understanding that the startup world can be sometimes more, um, you know. Uh, constraint on cash flow. Uh, the, the entry for startup is $160 excluding GST. For all other categories, it's $375 per entry. Um, and uh, for students, uh, both undergraduate and postgraduate, it is free. Um, with, if your organization uh, cannot work with a credit card, um, please touch base with me early because um, if we need to make some alternative arrangement with an EFT or an invoice, uh, that we can do that before the 9th of April. 
Um, so if you have any questions um, or you need more information, there's a lot of information on our website um, and uh, there is a, a contact email. So this email has been set up with a group of us. So um, it will be monitored um, and we will come back to you and it will be either myself or Petra um, or Neve or someone else, but um, it will be monitored. And if you have any particular questions for myself, uh, with respect to any of the submissions, please feel free to just say, hey, this email is for Celia, the Chief Judge, um, and I'll make sure that I have a look at it. So if um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to let us know. Um, I'm really excited that we are celebrating 30 years. It's, um, it's a wonderful organisation run by um, a lot of volunteers, but a lot of peer and industry um, peers as well. So it's um, it's a privilege to be helping our WA. So we're looking forward to your entries. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. And thank you in, in um, advance for submitting. We look forward to seeing your entries. Have a lovely day.